welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo! Today we have a very special guest. I think one of the most requested guests we've ever had yeah. for Two Idiot Girls. We have the one and only <laughs> Brittany Broski. <laughs> have you decided what the official chant is of Broski Nation? Um, they kind of adopted the Harry Styles bark, which is that. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Ooh, 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 oh, god. Because he does that on stage, and I feel like it sticks. That makes sense. That makes yeah, sense. Like, yeah. You can't really beat it. No. <laughs> Unless it's just like a battle cry or something like that. Like, huzzah, maybe. <laughs> just loud screaming. Yeah, just, <laughs> help me! Help me! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. When we went to oh, VidCon. I thought of something, yeah. When we went to VidCon and they had a Squishmallow pit and they let us, they, that's why we brought home like 800 of yeah. them. So we're we, a Squishmallow family Yeah, now. you are. And so we were telling Adam, like, get some for it because he has nephews that he's like obsessed with. So we're yeah. like, get some. And so he was putting, he was like slamming it in his face and going, <gasps> like as yeah. he could. Well, I was like, "Do you like them?" He goes, "Yeah, they're they're really nice." And then he was like mushing them really hard, and he was going, "Oh, help me, help me!" <laughs> and then he goes, "Works great. I love it. It's really, really soundproof, actually." I guess it's okay. He did it's it like, like fifty times. I was like crying every single time. It was so funny. That's like. <laughs> That's so weird, but we find yeah. that so funny. Well, I feel like Adam is a fucking comedian. Yeah, and no, no one he knows. Absolutely, I know. Is. even and he doesn't. He doesn't think he no, is. But he people, is. people have literally asked us to have Adam on the pod. I know we're working on it. We Please. are. We're working up the courage to it. <laughs> we told Adam we're like you're heavily requested yeah. in the Offwall Cinematic Universe. Yes, that's what they call it. ACU. Yeah, yeah. the ACU. <laughs> so I was like, I can't believe Brittany exists in the ACU. I know. It's Our timeline: see Roski Nation another no, the Britney cinematic Brosky universe cinematic universe and the ACU there's gonna be like a civil war crossover <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> fucking like Marvel Endgame multiverse of, madness. <laughs> multiverse of madness that's truly the multiverse it of madness is. Yes. Yeah. well everything we do together they're like this is my end game yeah well mine too <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes two of okay us, me guys. too yeah okay and it's not mine <laughs> you are so fucking like you don't think <laughs> I'm out here. I have to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting fake mad at my audience. They love it. I know. They it up. When you're like, shh, shh, shh. shh. Yeah. When they're guys, seriously, guys, <laughs> I've just had a rough day. Like, they're just like, we love you. You make our day better. <laughs> Shh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ours loves us. Well, they love us, but sometimes do they? They're y'all uh, y'all's biggest haters, and also You're my right. audience is my biggest haters, yeah, 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 which is yeah, how yeah. it should be. I yes, agree. as God intended it, I think. So much power can't go unchecked. <laughs> 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 That's why I'm like, some of y'all, like last episode at the beginning, we had um squid squid on. Squid. He got he got too political, so we had to dismiss him. I mean, again, he's got a fucking mouth on him too. <laughs> He loves Brittany. I know. He absolutely adores He's her. He's Squilliam. Every time I come in with shorts, he rakes his nails down my legs. <laughs> He's, like, yes! He's branding you. Yeah. I'm like, okay, Squid. <laughs> When we had him on, I was like telling them because everybody remembers like Squid had he's my peanut allergy child, yes. so he's like allergic to a lot of things. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, I gotta be careful with everything. But when I was talking about it, I was like, by the way, I don't need any tips. He's fine, I yeah. promise. And then I saw a lot of people in the comments being like, I like how she had a firm hand with us because you know those about the the advice. Yeah, the unsolicited yeah, dog advice. mom shamers are out there. They're out. Oh my god, I could not imagine if I was a mommy vlogger and people were like, don't hold your kid like that i'd be like i'm gonna come to your house and kill you so at the beginning of every episode we talk about this is our zoomies so we kind of go through like okay. things yep. you're obsessed with for the week or how we're doing so how are you doing this week how much time do you have <laughs> <laughs> i know you have a hard out so i don't know <laughs> um i'm going to see darren chris the musical the show the series fun. with uh lady efron brooke avery oh love. fun okay love, love her Mm -hmm. um so this week and i need you to be very like this is you and me okay, together i figure call of duty modern warfare 2 <laughs> i had to tell her who that was i was like drew who is that and she goes is it Ghostface? or what'd you call it yeah it's Ghostface. It's, it's that's ghost. his name and what's the other ghost. one K koenig is the, the yeah. german one yeah and that's gonna be um i have never played call of duty I don't know the first thing about it. It kind of freaks me out and scares me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's too much. But 
I have found myself on AO3 for hours. Reading I told about- you I'm waiting for my Kindle to come in so I can comfortably <laughs> read fan fiction on there as the Lord intended. And what about it? And what <laughs> questions do y'all have for yeah. me about my so, <laughs> yeah. And I'm not entertaining any questions. So did you see time. like a like a first chapter, like a reel of him or something? And yes. Then, yeah. That's well, actually how it starts. Yeah. I'm surprised yes. you haven't seen it sooner. Well, I've seen him, like the guy with the skull mask. And yeah. I was like, what is this? Y'all are fucking weird. Now here we are. You know, it's like, <laughs> no, I'm the weird one. But it was because I have a thing for masked men. Don't yeah. know what it is. Oh, I see. I, I see, know see. that. Okay. Yeah. I think Kylo Ren and the Mandalorian really started it. I'll yeah. be honest. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I, I would get these slideshows of like <laughs> all the different types of masked men, like biker men or fucking like Star Wars cosplayers or um, Orville Pegg. Orville Pegg. Yeah. Love him. <laughs> and it's just like, what's wrong with me? A and B. Why? Like, there's a whole community that likes this sure. shit. Okay. Yeah. And so I find myself. <laughs> turn British I found myself very like into it mm-hmm. and that's been my obsession and I'm it's you like you can time it okay. like I'll be over it in about three days I figure yeah that's about how long they last yeah yeah that was, they're yeah. just like quick bursts yes. yeah quick they're not bursts. long enough to like no. leave long lasting impressions that's just for right now yeah because yeah. I'm not gonna be in like the Call of Duty fandom <laughs> I just I hope not. not. Well, I don't think they'd take you or me. No, Any, nobody in this room, in fact. Yeah, yeah like, Ew, no. Yeah, <laughs> Ew, uh. no girls allowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to be in it. But I saw him and I was like, my ears peaked up, perked <laughs> up, and I was like, all right, I'm over it. It's, old, it's just like a nax your prey drive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you just kind of have to pr- you have to focus, laser focus. <laughs> <laughs> kind of drooled for a second and I was like snap out of it and I'm like I'm acting crazy <laughs> yeah the fuck was that the pupils are dilated yeah. <laughs> yeah that's like I saw someone comment on one of the episodes once they're like my favorite part of every episode is when Dason goes do you think so and so is hot and Drew goes I don't know <laughs> <laughs> every episode <laughs> Okay, she's like, okay, do you think they're hot, yes or no? And I'm like, I don't have an answer to that question. I'm like, objectively yeah. speaking, and she goes, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you are oh. asking the wrong person. Yeah, that. never mind. It's just me, and I'm all, well, I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> she's like, he is so sexy. And I'm always like, I mean, I'm inclined to believe you. Yeah. Okay. I got no reason to not believe you. Yeah. Believe women. <laughs> you believe women. One thing about me, I'm going to believe women. Yes. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I am. What I'm about like, y'all? Oh, yeah. Oh, what's your new? My crush right now. Oh, I'm really into... But maybe you could just say their real name and not their character name. Ugh, but he's ugly out of it. <laughs> 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 so never mind. I'm not going to share it. <laughs> but that's kind of embarrassing. It? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to bleep that out. I'll leave the whole thing in, but I'll bleep that out. <laughs> So I say his real name, I'm be like, ew, no. But he's literally. <laughs> but in the show, yeah. <laughs> the illusion is shattered <laughs> in the real world. Yeah. <laughs> that just like pissed me off. <laughs> it's actually really annoying. I thought you were going to be like Jeremy Allen White. I was going to be like, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 no, he, that is a good one. I saw the way you were just wildly disappointed <laughs> in the like, reveal. You know what? I saw a TikTok <laughs> edit the other day of fucking Lenny the shark from Shark Tale. Lenny? Oh, the Lenny the like. I'm I'm a the, I'm the, a dolphin. Yeah. I'm a dolphin from Shark Tale. Do you remember that shark? Yeah, Tale yes. Will the Ferrell shark. Will, the shark. Yeah. The shark friend. Yes. yes. I th- I've seen one about the shark dad. Which- well, him too as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, wait a second. Yeah. Well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. <laughs> and um, I, you didn't let me finish. No, it was I on was, the end. Yeah, there was a dot, dot, dot there. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw someone stitch it and be like, Johnny, just stand up. That is an animated shark. <laughs> I said, all right, that's enough TikTok for the day. You're all, yeah, exactly. I'm so sorry. I no, you're it. good. I knocked it over. No, I was going to say, um, one time Brittany sent me a thirst trap of <laughs> Hopper from Bugs Life. And then I was vulnerable with her and told her I had a really big crush on Dim, which is the big blue bug. And she said, <laughs> which for those of you that actually know the lore know that already. And she said, that's the gayest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's like the equivalent of being like Kevin Jonas is my favorite. <laughs> <Jonas brother." laughs> yeah, babe, you're gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine, dude. That's just I never really entertained her talking about that because I can't relate to that personally. That's fine. I feel that's like a you... journey you have to take alone. And you know what? You are. <laughs> <laughs> you did actually. It builds character. Truly, you did in fact. Actually, you did. Yes. <laughs> 
I think that's unbelievable, to be honest with you. Yeah. How'd mm-hmm. you feel about the Hopper one? I He's too scary. I don't like that. I'm kind of into that. That's why yeah. Brittany likes it. I was going to yeah. say. Brittany likes it because it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's like a power thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like in the Cars movie, it's not the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Where are we no, going? Hear me out. Hear, hear me out. <laughs> no, Let I'm saying that, that Brittany doesn't, you don't like the cop. You like the, the one that trains him, right? Doc. Correct. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Correct. Because they're both like a navy blue, so I mix them up. I've seen them on the ride. Yes. For the lore. Wait. Yeah. Doc Hudson. Yeah, Doc yeah. Hudson versus the Hornet. Sheriff. Yeah. The Hornet. Yes. Yeah, versus okay, okay, Sheriff. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Both were at the Capitol on January 2nd. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused. Not yeah. to just listen. <laughs> two, and, two sides of the same coin is my point. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 they yes, are, sorry. in fact, the same person. <laughs> Storm the Capitol. <laughs> No, one of the weirdest ones Brittany ever sent me was that wrench from Handy Manny. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest one. She goes, hear me out. And I go, hey, why'd you send this to me? <laughs> Wrong Please number. Delete my number. <laughs> Wrong number, actually. All the text turned green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm, why'd you send this to me? She goes, I don't know. I thought I'd find community with you. <laughs> she was like, Wrong. sorry, that was Wrong. a butt text. Yeah. Wrong. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my butt- brother had my phone. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> sorry That's about that. crazy. That was, that was definitely not me. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm choking. <laughs> Sorry. Just in person, I'd like to apologize for that. You're ridiculous. Sorry, Thank you for gripping my mic stand. Oh, you're welcome. Gripping my stand. <laughs> what would you uh, day say is your hyperfixation other than that? Um, That's the only one I have right now. I'm trying to think of like what's... Like, I, for a while, had stuff from like the bear and like succession edits and stuff on my... I had a lot of my succession edits. For a really long time, yeah. But that was it. I don't really have anything on there right now. That's Sometimes shocking. I send Dason stuff that's like the punchline is that she likes ugly people. And, <laughs> and then by she, sometimes she means all the time. And then you know what's dumb is I get me, tagged in And then too. she tells me she'll text me that video and she'll be like, hey, why'd you send me this? <laughs> like, she, <laughs> she confronts me immediately. <laughs> like nothing makes her confront me faster than that. Hey, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Hey, just genuinely asking what the fuck is wrong with you. That's true. <laughs> Please don't talk to me for the rest of the day. <laughs> just, you know, I'm mad at you for this. Yeah, yeah. I need some time alone. And that's, and when I say that, I'm only talking about people like in the real world that have like not like they just were like talk. They just haven't given her the time of day or something, or they were being shady or weird or whatever. Mm-hmm. Those are the people I'm talking about. Sure. And I'm right. like, these people are so fugly. Like, who cares? Right. She said that about almost everyone I've had a crush on. And I stand by that. And has she been wrong? No. The one time, one time. <laughs> and I'm guys- talking about real life people that like, she just, that pay attention. They give her like attention. And then she's like, oh my God, I think I like this person. No, I'm you don't. Same. No, you don't. So speaking of which, one time I had a crush on someone and I showed them to Brittany on my Instagram. <laughs> And then we went to something together and we met that person. I didn't know they were going to be there. And the next day I go, oh my gosh, Brittany, so what did you think? And she went, I think they're a cat <laughs> She goes, when you introduced me, I was like, there's no way that's the same person from Instagram. I had to have her pull up the photo. I was like, you're telling me that's the they're same person? They're like, now, listen, I'm going to need you to explain something to me. <laughs> Is this, are you being serious with this? Am I being punked? <laughs> I just want to know if you've ever been serious once in your life. <laughs> Ever. It was pretty bad. I didn't think that, but I understood. It the rose-colored bad. goggles are so real. I know. They are. Lenses. Goggles? Lenses. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was wearing goggles. It's, it's, dr- it's drunk goggles. Drunk goggles. Yeah, or beer goggles. Oh. That's what it is. Yes. Which is mean. Well. Well. <laughs> I have Instagram goggles. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Crush goggles. Crush goggles? Yeah. Or it's a disease. They're bad. Yeah, because sometimes she'll be like, I, do you want me to show you my new crush? And then I go, yeah. If and you then want. I immediately go, never mind. No, she goes, <laughs> no, she goes, <laughs> you, never mind, because you think everybody's ugly. And I'm like, well, the people you've shown me have been ugly, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. I'm just going based on history, babe. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, I'm not going to show you. And then I go, okay. And then we sit in silence and she goes, okay, fine. I'll show you. <laughs> and then she literally just shows, and then she just goes, this is them. And she shows them to me. <laughs> like, Right she I does it every yeah. time. Right now, I don't really have a crush. I kind of do on some people, but I don't know. It's something like. Don't you feel it. lost? Yeah. Like, did, did you send me that thing that was like, I? How, what do I do if I don't have a crush? I'll like invent something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, what could you get done? Yeah. Yeah. No, but like, what yeah. am I supposed to do? I don't know. I'm bored to fucking tears. Yeah. There's no will to live. If I don't have <laughs> someone or something to pine over. over. Yeah. 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 All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break with our friends at Vegamore. I've been using the Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner Kit and the Growth Serum, which I really, really love. I'm always trying to do right by my body, so when it comes to my hair and scalp health, finding a product that actually works and is made with clean ingredients always seems like a trade-off. But with Vegamore, I get products that are made with clean ingredients and give me visibly healthy hair and scalp. So with Vegamore, I'm able to have visibly thicker, fuller, shinier, longer hair all literally my goals, all without the harsh ingredients. All Vegamore products are 100% cruelty-free and are never formulated with potentially harmful chemicals like parabens or hormones. So I personally, I have, I kind of do like a variation of the curly girl method. So I'm very particular on how I integrate new hair products into my routine because my hair is so specific. I also deal with sometimes my scalp being oily. I also have eczema on my scalp. I just have a lot of things going on. But my favorite part about Vegamore, it was super easy. I just tried it one day. I was like, let me just try all three. And my hair honestly felt fuller and healthier and um, like stronger, if that makes sense. Because I obviously have bleached parts in the front of my hair that have gone through a lot of trauma. Vegamore makes them feel a lot stronger. So what's even better is Vegamore's value kits, like the Grow Essentials kit, which is the one that I have, where you get to try more than one amazing product at a great savings. When you sign up for a monthly subscription, you save more and you never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. The key is consistency in your routine. Yes. For your most beautiful, healthy looking hair. I use Vegamore Grow hair serum daily and my hair and scalp are flourishing. Fun fact, Vegamore sells one bottle of grow serum every 15 seconds on their website. That's how good this stuff is, girl. So, Give yourself the hair you never thought you could have with Vegamore. For a limited time, two idiot girl listeners get 20% off their first order by going to vegamore.com slash two idiot girls and use code two idiot girls at checkout. That's V E G A M O U R.com slash two idiot girls code two idiot girls to save 20% off your first order. V E G A M O U R.com slash two idiot girls code two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. Yeah. Like I was thinking about this, I it's hard for me to have crushes on famous people who are already married or have like are in relationships. Sure. I can't if I can't picture myself right now with you, like yes. then what's the point? Yeah. That's why Pedro Pascal is so good because like I don't know what he's doing and I don't want to know. Yes. So I can still picture it. Keep it to your fucking self. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't no. want to know. I feel you. Isn't I don't. Killian, Killian Murphy's was one of yours, right? Yes, and he's married with children. I know it's hard. Killian. Do you think Lee Pace is hot? You're gonna have to show me a fardar. Okay. He was in. Did you ever watch Bodies, Bodies, Bodies? No. Oh, okay. There's, but I do love that song by Charlie X. I was just going to say, I think he's really hot. I think yeah, he's, he's hot. Yeah, he's like six, seven. He's a Fuck me. big ass. Click man. on that one down to the left. I'm all, this one? No. The, oh, shit. That one. Get to the bottom of the way bottom, they're just... that. <gasps> That's him? Yeah, he's sexy. Here we go. <laughs> A new one. Now you've damn done it. it. God damn it. I now told Bernie about Jeremy it. Allen White. I'm like, he's sexy. You have to watch the bear. And she goes, yeah, right. And then she's like, no. She's just, oh, sorry, chef. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I literally like, because I saw that picture of him with Gene Wilder. Compared yeah. to Jim, and I was like, <laughs> you bitches are stupid obsessing over him. And then I watched one episode of the bear and I was like, <sighs> fine. Oh. Opens up Google. Mm -hmm. Literally. Just have like, to go look. Have to go look. Yeah. <laughs> Carmi the bear edit. <laughs> Opens AO3. <laughs> God, he's great. so hot. I have got to read a chef fan fiction. Oh man, I can't even imagine. I'm no, I gotta get out of this Call of Duty phase and then I'm <laughs> my sights set on the next destination yes. already. Yeah. Yes. Coordinates are loaded, ready to go. Target locked. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, okay, so for this week, we did random childhood crushes, which we picked with Bernie because we've talked a bunch about yeah, yeah, different random ones. Did you have any random, like when you were a little, can you think of any? Well, my first ever, like, what's going on here was Ash from Pokemon. Oh, oh okay. Were you Pokemon girls? Not really. No. Not really. Kind of. Like, we had we had the video games and, like, mm -hmm. we knew somewhat of the lore, yeah. but yeah. we weren't, like, really into it. No, I thought the guy with the purple hair was really hot, but he's super gay. T well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I never, like, it's funny because as a young child, I loved the TV show, but I never, like, played Pokemon or did yeah. the, or she like to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah when Pokemon that. Go came out, I was like, you bitches are weird. <laughs> I actually got it. I tried it, yeah. I had fun, fun, but then I, like... I don't like to waste time doing something that doesn't like yield a result. Well, joy. I've talked about. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't have that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like any sort of leisure. Everything like, I do either. has to be for something. That's why I'm in therapy. Um, <laughs> like it has to yield a positive result. It's Otherwise, the Virgo in you. Like yeah. I literally talked like day two with my therapist. I was like, so like I have no hobbies. What's wrong with me? Wow. Because I was like, I don't, I literally don't have hobbies, like any. And she's the complete opposite of me. So she's like, anything brings her joy. So she's like, I'm going to, yeah, she's like, really sweet, yeah, yeah, she's like, I'm going to, like, during the pandemic, this bitch was, you would have thought she's the man of a million hats. Like, Aww. she was like, I'm going to learn how to do resin today. Yeah. Period. And then cracking she, open an Etsy shop. Yeah. <laughs> she literally taught herself how to make, like, jewelry. She taught herself how to tie dye. Like, she, wow. she, we, like, baked. We did mm. all kinds of shit. Like, you were doing she just was, like a Christian vacation Bible school, <laughs> <laughs> making felt crafts. You know, literally. It's all in the shape of a cross. <laughs> no, literally. Actually. That's you know, so I, I relate to both because I do think that is a Virgo energy. That's yes. very, very yeah. Virgo. I um, talk about that a lot because I do feel this loss of productivity. Yeah. And productivity is like how I can pat myself on the back Same. and be like, today was not a day wasted. Yeah. yeah. But I'm in this sort of phase of life right now where it's like, I am trying to open my eyes, but like on the drive over here, like we live in Southern California. There yeah. are beautiful mountain ranges out mm-hmm. here. Yeah. I didn't grow up around mountains. You know, oh, like yeah. I tried to take that in and just be like, what a beautiful fucking set. You know, like yeah. th- to find joy in the little things mm-hmm. and be like, <laughs> this is so like, <laughs> did you eat today but like i went outside today (laughs) like i like went outside and i wasn't caught up in you know oh i should be filming this or or, i need to respond to this email i need to text so-and-so back Mm. it's just like to just take a fucking breath outside and be like i'm doing something outside of my normal routine today and that is that should be joyous in itself that's it's for nothing hard. other than joy. Yes. Like it's just to experience a feeling. It's not mm-hmm. to oh, yield 100%. the result. And it's hard for people yeah. like us, especially when you work on your own schedule. Yeah. Yep. Every, yeah. every second is a second wasted if yeah. you're not making money. And it's Literally. like, that's not how I'm, life was meant to be yeah, lived. Yes. True. Yeah. I know. I saw a tweet once that was like, remember um, like in the middle of the lockdown when people were like finishing home projects or like teaching themselves how to bake bread yes. and like, Doing things that like and experiencing life as it was meant to be lived. Mm. I could cry. I know. I I was I was like, that's such tea. Like everyone was like, I mean, it was obviously awful, but people at home were like doing things that brought them joy because the world was so awful. Yeah. Mm. So that you have like no choice but to try and bring yourself joy in some mm-hmm. way. And I was like, that's so deep. No, it literally <laughs> is, and it's also this whole. I mean, the larger discussion obviously is always how patriarchy and capitalism are tied. Yeah. And that is it is that I have been, I have taught myself that in order to be successful or to, you know, be worthy of anything, Mm -hmm. um, you have to be a kind of money machine. You also have to be beautiful and you have to be this and you have to be that. And then at the end of the day, like what time and energy do you have left for yourself? Literally. And that's when burnout happens for me. Yeah. Yeah, Because I'm fucking miserable. Yeah. 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 And like everything is just like a chore to have to do. I know. So I think that's why, like, we talk, we've talked about that on the podcast before. Mm. Everyone's going to be like, it got so deep. So suddenly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> existential. But we've done episodes on both. Like, yeah. silly shit. But also we've talked about, like, how I'm working on, especially because I measure my worth through my accomplishments. A hundred percent. So if I'm not doing something to yield accomplishment, like, what's the fucking point? Like, yeah. in my head, I'm like, that's a waste of time. I shouldn't do something that brings me nothing other than joy. Like, me and Billy, like, this is so stupid, but, like, I bought a board game. Like, yeah. I have a few, but I bought one because I saw it and it, like, looked cute. And I, I remembered it from when I was a kid. Yeah. And then one day he was like, let's just play against each other. That's so so we just played Clue against each other. It's not as fun with only two people. <laughs> You're like, damn, this I sucks. Mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, You're boring. Yeah. I was like, <sighs> yeah. I plug in my PlayStation. I'm like, fuck this shit. I start recording myself. I start vlogging it. I'm like, Might as well make money off of it. You're watching Family Guy on your phone. Yeah. Vlogging. And vlogging. <laughs> I know I was literally we did that and it was like so fun but it was like for nothing else other than just like something silly like Obsessed just with experience that. joy yes anywho anyway well, so Ash from Pokemon was my <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah well, well other than Ash back to the funnies um uh, right after Ash was I would say probably the start of my like Disney Channel, you know, crushes. Mm, okay. Zac yeah. Efron, obviously. I had a... Y'all used to read, like, J14 magazine. Yeah. Like, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bob, yeah. 
<laughs> we were talking about Tiger Bee. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I would never read them. I would no. only, I would Get go through pictures. and see if the posters were good. Yeah. And I literally would like, mm, okay. yeah. the and centerfold. I'd, yes. And I'd be like, mom, I want this one. For kids. Yes. <laughs> I say, mom, I went over the whole inventory and I went this one. Yeah. She's like, okay. And so I would go home and literally like interior design my room. Yeah. Like, okay, this one is a six by two. So I'm like, I'm like sketching it. <laughs> okay. Like, You're yeah, all yeah, gallery wall. Okay. So can, <laughs> and I had this life-size Zac Efron poster that I had behind my door. <laughs> and I would go into my room. <laughs> I would come in, and you know how like Hannah Montana when she would leave a, her a room or her yeah, house, she would like look back. Yeah, the uh, 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 yeah, and yeah. she'd do like that. I would go into my room and close the door and do like a and kiss the poster <laughs> and go to town. <laughs> go to town on that poster. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? That was like routine. Every fucking day I came home from school and I was like, oh my God. Hi, Zach. Today drained me. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> Sorry, I was gone for so long. Why did you have to do the <laughs> sigh before? Because <laughs> he was watching. <laughs> It's always watching. Because I was acting. You don't get it. Like, no. <laughs> once did Miley, like, do that and kiss <laughs> So to compare the two felt so... So, like, they just, feel real... It was step one, step two. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the game plan doesn't yes. really make sense in my... Maybe I'm just, like, I'm not... <laughs> I like was in You're my just own ahead of your time. Yes, yes ahead yes. of your time. <laughs> <laughs> but I that Zach Efron was huge, <laughs> and that was like it made it so I, much worse. I had a crush on Corbin Blue. So <laughs> <laughs> did you ever watch the Disney Channel games? Yes, yes. I loved them because the Jonas Brothers, Miley, like yes. all of them were in it. Upset. You know, did the you... only reason I would watch any of those, or like, what was the food one they did? Like, oh, pass the plate. Pass the plate. Yeah, was um so the zucchini. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love zucchini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who played Jackson Rod Stewart? What's his fucking name? Jason Jay Earl. Jason Earl. I almost said James Earl Jones. <laughs> well, that's. That's not going to be not him. the same guy. Not at all. Ma any relation there? Yeah. <laughs> it's worth a Google. Yeah. Do you guys know each other? So, I'm seeing it. Um, I He was like my end game. Really? I love, because I love a funny white man. I love a funny white man. Oh, friend. I was going to say, why? Because he, I wanted to be him. Okay. And then I was like, do I have a crush on him or do I, like, I loved what he, <laughs> Excuse me. Brought to the show. Sure, yeah, yeah. No, he was great on that show. He was, he was so, so funny. funny. And he did a lot of physical comedy. So yeah. it's like very like I old loved school. Yes. It was crazy when people would talk about how old he was. He was like 25 playing a 17-year-old. Absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. I thought I thought he was really funny too. I thought he added a great like energy to the show. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Like I looked I'd, forward. I, the, he was the same. He was the um Spencer Shea iCarly equivalent. Yes, yeah. I, see I see that. Yeah. I see that. I love a hot funny I love older brother. Spencer, he was so funny. To I this day, him. Jerry Trainer, please hit my line. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're watching Jerry Trainer. Like he is our biggest <laughs> fan. Our yeah. biggest he, fan. Well. He's acknowledged you before, right? Yeah, he reposted an edit I made of him. <laughs> You made one of him? I made that edit of the girl dancing with the skeleton behind her that oh, fucking yeah. rolled the tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And it was a bunch of pictures of him. And I tagged him and he did move forward with reposting it. And I was humiliated. <laughs> but I was like, what do I fucking think's gonna happen? You yeah. Know? That's so upsetting, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about y'all? Were y'all more like y'all were Disney kids? Not yeah, yeah, but we love Disney. I'd say uh, yeah, it was probably both. Back so, to Jerry Trainer. We're gonna pick up on Jerry Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, Jerry Trainer was was it for me. Like like as young Spencer and as old Spencer. Like yeah. I'm very into it. Who I don't know if you had any um, on Disney. No. Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami was my first crush ever. <gasps> yeah. Do you remember? Oh fuck me! The what movie was the Jonas Brothers song? The We Don't Have Time Left to Quit. <laughs> I think it was a Johnny Cobble no, Hall back John on board. Johnny yeah. Cobble Hall, yeah. bitch! That movie changed me as a woman. Did they do like skateboard down the? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's Johnny Tsunami. Yeah, yeah, that was Johnny Tsunami. Okay, yeah. it's, a, yes. it's a sequel. So the that's originals, right. his it was Johnny Tsunami. So they didn't have any Hawaiian people in the movie. Yeah, they had no the Polynesian <laughs> people uh, whatsoever. But they like speak like, pigeon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, yeah in they have the, the accent. Yeah, yeah. I rewatched it. I think 
relatively recently and I was listening to the grandpa and like he does kind of have a pigeon accent like he does parts of it feel a little exaggerated obviously sure. they're a little theatrical but yeah. it's like it's not awful but See? it is it is very different from how they really yeah, talk it is yeah, yeah. that's so but funny that was like Johnny Tsunami was your ever. first one yeah. and he was also in Punks yeah did you ever watch Punks no. with Jessica Alba yeah yeah, yeah. That a, it was a disney movie yeah it was it was a disney movie but it was like it was like four or five kids and mm. they're like what do they do for a it was like one of them like their dad works at a company and then like i think they're shutting it down so he has to move so him and his friends form this like secret spy alliance called punks where they spy on like all the guys in charge of the company okay. <laughs> and then they, they break in and like <laughs> do a bunch of stuff i just don't even i don't even remember the fucking plot no. i only remember that they were like spies and they had these all these cool gadgets mm -hmm. yeah. and they wore Johnny, fingerless gloves and we yeah. thought they were so cool yeah. yeah and my mom had a pair of fingerless gloves and we used we asked her to borrow them and we would have to like take turns wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> only had one. we'd fight over wearing them watching she the movie. Only had one. <laughs> so and then my mom was like all right you each get a glove yeah <laughs> and we should give us, and then we'd sit there and we'd be like it's not the same <laughs> so they're just, you're supposed to, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to be a spy with one hand that's true and like i remember they sold toys that were kind of like spy gear and like my mom bought it for us because we just loved the movie so yeah. much and we would like pretend that we were spies mm -hmm. and shit did you record. like spy kids yeah spy kids loved yeah, spy kids, spy kids. Yeah. that was they used to sell or not sell but like in mcdonald's yes, yes. i collected like hundreds of them yes. yeah they, they had, had like the, trade like, people and yeah. they have the like glasses and mm -hmm. some were like yeah! walkie talkie like that, that shit just electroshocked me back to like <laughs> holy shit i remember that i had so many of yeah, those and i yeah. would oh my god there is nothing as joy bringing as being a child in your playroom yeah i like, know alone literally with, like my fucking mind <laughs> like, your imagination just me yes. zach efron and my toys just me zach efron and the energy between us <laughs> the electricity between us <laughs> and my toys and my li my littlest pet shops my webkins <laughs> dude that's crazy yeah i was a littlest pet shop bitch really i was like i had the whole setup <laughs> i had created a little community for them to exist in <laughs> like oh my god it was so freeing yeah to come home from school and be like today drained me <laughs> <laughs> Play little they're kissing. <laughs> dude now they're kissing they're kissing gotta give everyone a bath <laughs> <laughs> you're, about, you're about telling you to take a bath girl i'm a little busy i'm a little busy, busy. <gasps> so a single, you, mom. a single mom a mother of 19 <laughs> <laughs> mom you're a bitch leave me alone <laughs> we never had Littlest pet shops, no. No, I think yeah. I like was just a little too old right when they came out. Okay, but we yeah. loved like Polly Pockets. Period. We loved Barbie and Brad. Brad. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we loved the Brad stuff. Polly Pocket is a great snack. It is. <laughs> Polly Pocket clothes. Jason loved Polly Pockets. Yeah, but she hated playing with me because I would lose mine all the time, and I would always mm. like try to like rummage through her. So like, she'd drawers. lose like the shoes. Like I had everything organized, yep. and she's like, just not very Virgo of me. But it's not. No. no. Just like pure chaos when she played with her toys. I'm all, no. Yeah. Or she'd like give them back and she would like, like there's like a little tear in the dress. <gasps> and I'm all, dude. Or in the pants on the side. I'm all, because she's being too rough and yeah. ripping them up. Dude. Classic we, little sister. I know. We joke about this. Like when we were at school, like my mom always makes this joke. But like when school was over, like Jason was like at the fucking curb, like <laughs> ready to go home. She's like, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. She, the way she, she was being taken to war every day school, <laughs> simply because she didn't want to be away from my mom. Like I just she want to go home. Yeah, she yeah. always wants to be at home. And she also wore fatigues to school. <laughs> yeah. She, was, she, she like, started an ROTC she saluted, program. She saluted everyone. I don't yeah. know. It was really weird. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It was kind of weird. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know kids, though. They do those kids things. Kids and their imaginations. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and we like Sorry, she's like me. she's like ready to go like she looks perfect comes with all her things whatever mm -hmm. and then it would take like she would be waiting in the car for me because i was like taking my sweet ass time right on my way out i'm like talking and laughing <laughs> and like getting water and just like taking my sweet ass time 
And I come home and my mom said, I always look like I got like hit by a car. Like <laughs> my face is dirty. My clothes are dirty. My shirt's torn. Her ponytail's on the side of my head. My ponytail's on the side of my head. <laughs> sweaty. And she's like, what the fuck were you doing at school? Like, what were you doing? And Dayson always looked exactly the same. And she's like, every time you came back, like your bows are missing. Like <laughs> your, your thing is torn again. <laughs> Bloody dirty. knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> A bag, of, <laughs> bag of cash, like I don't understand. Big like trench coat. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. Do you have an answer? What are you doing? You're just running around. I was just playing my ass off. Oh, I love it. Like we talked about middle school dances on here. Oh. And dope. like how like awkward, like when when people started grinding mm-hmm. and it's like, what the fuck happened mm-hmm. in like a year? Mm-hmm. And um, I, Dayson was always like, no, no. Like, she's just afraid. Like, get away from me. Yeah. And I'd be dancing and I, it, like, to me, it didn't make sense because I literally thought I was, like, such a classically trained dancer. <laughs> of course. I'm like, I'm so talented. Like, I don't need the support. Yeah. Like, I'm good. Like, I, believe it or not, I can carry my I'm weight. I'm a solo act. We <laughs> don't need it. It's not a duet. Like, uh, I, I just, like, I, when I get in that zone, like, I don't need anybody. I don't yeah. need a partner. Can we clear the floor? Yeah. <laughs> And I would like I have the stage. I literally come home from my dances. I sweat through my jeans. Yes. Like yeah. I, my mom would be like, "What were you doing?" When we went like, swimming before we got back. Yeah. Home, it's crazy. and she looks the same. Yeah, and I don't. Yeah. And my mom was like, "What the fuck?" Like my mom was just so like, "What are you doing all day?" I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my mom's like, why do you look like you live outside yeah, people and your think sister I'm, like mistreating yeah, you yeah my, your sister looks the same like i don't understand <laughs> like my mom was so fed up she was like i give up like go to look look like that i don't give a fuck listen play hard work hard <laughs> <laughs> it's friday what am i getting I'm time just to play hey. i'm put- <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta clock in. You gotta, I get 15 minutes extra recess time. I'm gonna fucking use it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's why my mom was like, I'm sick of it. Like my mom, so they funny. took a school picture of me when I graduated from fifth grade and moved to middle school. They took pictures of us that they were gonna gift our parents in like diploma things. <laughs> like big portraits. I didn't know it was that day. I, I didn't give my mom the flyer. So I go to school, I look pretty, but then like, they take the picture after lunch. Oh, she should do it no. first thing in the morning as soon after, as the kids get there. After yeah. second recess, I didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I didn't stand a chance. They did it on purpose, honestly. They, they plotted against me. Oh they God. all took their pictures the day before and they didn't tell me. No. No, and then we go and like after lunch, we went, fr- I'm not kidding, from the blacktop to the amphitheater to take the picture. <laughs> like off the fucking field. They said, and run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> blocked in. Sprint. Yeah. And they took us back and we took the pictures and then my mom brought it up to me like she's like hey did you take a picture like at school and i go yeah like a couple days ago and she was like are those the pictures that were on this flyer because she found it and i go yeah i think it's like for graduation or something like it's like a present and my mom goes and you took the picture and i go yeah she goes when and i go after lunch she goes oh my. <laughs> The way she immediately was like, dude. Oh my. And then she goes, and you took the picture. And I go, yeah. She goes, did you look at yourself before? And I go, no. Uh-uh. I'm just so, and I'm just, uh-uh. And like at 10. She's like, still playing. She's like, <laughs> oh, no. And then, like, at 10 years old, too, I was like, my mom was like, you were like weirdly articulate. So like, I could like really talk to you. Yeah. And she goes, and it was just like talking to an adult. Like, you just didn't give a fuck. Like, I was like, why would I? Why would I look at myself before I took a picture? Yeah. Mom, She's like, you're not making right. sense. Yeah. And then she gave it to her. I, my mom still has it, but like my hair is fucked up. Like <laughs> sticky bangs. It's like, it's like my baby hairs are like stuck right here and it's super like frizzy, frizzy in the back. Low pony and went to school with a, like a high pony yeah. and it was on the back of my neck. Yeah. So I had like that Will Turner look. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where'd you get those pirate boots? Yeah, <laughs> part of the crew, part of the show. <laughs> core, part yeah. of the crew, part of the ship. Core, <laughs> little Turner core, yeah. bootstrap Bill core, <laughs> <laughs> Davy Jones core. <laughs> My mom was like, and I always, my mom always says I had dirt on my nose. Like I always had dirt always. on my face. Why? I don't know, girl. <laughs> and then I wasn't there. And then my mom said, and I had dirt on my face, on my nose. And then I was like, 
Oh, that's like, so smiling. cute. That was one of those where you're like leaning on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like the blue background, like a yeah. graduation photo. <laughs> like, and then I was like, that Bobby Jack t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember I had like a, um, I had like a collared shirt on. It was like a black one. And um, half the neck was folded up and the other half was down. <laughs> because I was being hung by my shirt, I guess. I don't fucking know. I literally was like, my mom goes, dude, this picture. Like, she was like looking. She goes, look. And then I go, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah. Damn. damn. She does not look good. No. <laughs> she does not look good. <laughs> that is ridiculous that's <laughs> that's so funny i don't have any like bad school picture stories yeah. mine are like well seventh and eighth grade i was going through like tomboy moment like mm-hmm. i was gotcha. like i actually reject femininity yeah pink I, gross you no know, no pink yeah. is so disgusting and i would wear like bermuda shorts that went down <laughs> to my knees and like collared shirts yeah. Yeah. and i was like this is so sick you're, you're just like josh hutcherson <laughs> dead ass <laughs> bridge dead to ass. terabithia core <laughs> and i was like this is high fashion and like y'all don't get it and whatever <laughs> And they took my photo for seventh grade, like old enough to know better. Mm -hmm. Seventh grade. And I'm a natural brunette. (gasps) And it was like. (laughs) Canceler. (laughs) Yeah. I had no bangs. I had nothing. And it was like middle part right at the nape of my neck. And I didn't like my teeth, so I didn't smile. And then I had bushy eyebrows. (laughs) And so it was just like (laughs) in the the picture. And my mom got it back and said, oh, you look so pretty. Didn't hang it anywhere. And now we have a, my family every year for Christmas, we have like Christmas ornaments for 2009. Like for some reason, 2009, everyone got an ornament made of them. (laughs) And it's just like a cute little picture frame with a photo of us from that year in it. And my brother and sister were so young and they're like so cute. cute. Yeah. Yeah. Like classic little American family. And uh, my dad and stepmom were like very pretty people. And then it's that fucking photo of me. (laughs) And every year my brother and sister fight over who gets to hang it on the tree. (laughs) (laughs) I want 2009 Britney, please, please, please. And I have to like leave the room. I get so fucking mad. <laughs> like it's not funny. <laughs> You're all, that's my picture. You guys this. get the stock image photo. <laughs> it's the Getty image. Yeah, Getty you guys image. get a Getty and I get that. <laughs> and I get, I it's like, like, like grad photos of them, like in the, like yeah. in the field. Like, yes. And that's the one of you. Dayson, I love it. Dayson has a funny picture story. Which one? Eighth grade. Oh, so we used to get our haircut at, at um, Great Clips. At Great Clips. <laughs> yeah. And I would like print out like a colored photo. Uh, we used to get it done at the barbershop Great Clips. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And so one time I took a picture of Haley Williams and I asked her to cut my hair with that. And it was awful. My mom, Why? my mom literally was like, you should not do that. Yeah, and yeah. then you know, Dayson's like been fucky with her hair for like ever. Yeah. Love it. And so my mom was like, okay, like if you want it, get it. And yeah. she got it done. And like, she had it right before picture day. <gasps> it's just like, like, like it's almost like Alice Cullen core, but longer. So it's just yeah. like a hundred layers. Choppy layers. Yeah. yeah. Obsessed. It's bangs. crazy. And then like later that year, then I got Demi Lovato's haircut from Camp Rock. And uh, then they cut the bangs like right here. Too oh, short. She, had the micro bang. she had a micro <laughs> bang. She had a French bang. Yeah. <laughs> that Beyonce micro <laughs> it's literally one inch. I know. It's That's so good. terrible. I feel like we all had an era where we brought in like a J14 mag photo yeah. or whatever to be like, you're going to make me look like this now. Yeah. Me not even thinking like I'm 50 pounds heavier than her. <laughs> She's <laughs> why I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like I, she has like Eurocentric features <laughs> yeah. and I don't. She's like this is just not going to look the same. <laughs> yeah. I brought in a four door of Miley Cyrus from that era when Ooh. she oh, yeah. had the front bangs and it was like really pretty facial framing yeah. pieces. But like kind of honey brown. Yes. Yeah. And she had it like up in this cute bun and I was like that's me. That's actually what I look yeah. like. And I brought it in and she Fucked me up. And also, like, I don't know how to use a roller brush. I'm 11. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's gonna gonna look bad. Simple blow. (laughs) (laughs) It's gonna be bad, babe. Because I have curly. uh, Y'all have naturally curly hair. Yeah. Yeah. It it fizzes up. I was like, this is yeah. It shrinks. Mm. Yeah. Especially like if they don't cut it like when it's natural. Yeah. Like if they blow it out first, then cut it when it shrinks, it shrinks it's shorter. Over. Yeah, it's over. (laughs) I'm eleven. I don't know how to use it. (laughs) Don't have a Revlon, babe. I don't have a fucking what's that thing called? Dyson (laughs) Era. Dyson (laughs) Era. I actually can't afford it. to go to the dry bar, unfortunately. No. Did you 11. ever like um, the Naked Brothers band? They're in here a lot for random childhood crushes. Who yes. was your bias? 
Drew's gonna was Drew's Alex? I th- I always picked if if there wasn't a brown one, like I always picked the minority. Like, oh, okay, you know, okay. If there were groups, there would always only be one. Yeah, that was typically the one. I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, but when it came to them, I would if it, that wasn't an option, I would always pick the taller one. Oh, okay, because I'm a tall bitch. Sure, five four when I was ten. I know. And I took that picture. Can you imagine? I was like taller than my photographer at my fifth grade photo shoot. (laughs) He has to readjust the whole thing. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) While while you're here, can you get something for me up there? Can you adjust the light? Yeah. Can you you bring that light, that keynote down just a little bit? (laughs) Oh, the assistant's here. Great. Yeah. (laughs) The way... I just thought of that and I was like, that's so unsettling. <laughs> They're like, yeah. like your TA. Why is she playing with the kids? <laughs> it's literally one They're of like, the kids. sir, please get out. <laughs> sir. I'm like, what the heck? I'm nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally me being I'm this many. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Nat and Alex Wolf were in here a lot too. For childhood crushes. I was not really. I used to like watch them. But I'm yeah, we like didn't, a we, fan. Yeah, same. We didn't really. I lived for the drama of it all. So sure. like when they had the like. What was it? Is it Rosa Rosalina? Rosalina, yeah, the like girl in the group. Mm-mm. They had like a little like tension, the two of them. Ooh. I think it was Nat and her, yeah. right? Yeah, like that romance part of it, I remember because I remember it being like news, like okay. in the kid news world or whatever, mm. like pop culture news. I do not remember. Yeah, anything. but that's remember, the only um, thing I really knew. Yeah. Do you remember Ocean Up? Did you ever go on there? No. It was kind of like just Jared. Oh, where yes. They would post like yes. celebrity updates and stuff. And it was no. like literally a never ending website where you just like, so you'd always start at the top because that was like the newest pictures I had of people. No. So you'd be like, oh my gosh, like Demi Lovato was hanging out with so and so. And you'd see pictures on there. That's tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah the that's, first it's pop just, crave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Perez Hilton. Yeah. Right, right, like right, that right. type of shit. Like a blogger before yeah. a blogger. Yeah. You know what I mean, I would like for like a month, I asked for my birthday for a subscription to Miley World. Miley Cyrus's Ooh, website. I okay. think it was called Miley World. Okay. And uh, that was the era of like Miley and Mandy. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. When Moose yes. like, and Steph up when they did the dancing. Oh, bitch. When all of that. Do you remember? You were a Demi Lovato girl. Yeah. Huge. Demi Lovato did a video for their 17th birthday. I'm I not even kidding. The never. Power Ranger shirt. No, she's talking about for her. Um, I think I thought it was for her 18th birthday. Was it her 17th birthday? I think it was her 17th birthday. Where she birthday. did like a dance The hip hop dance. <laughs> The hip hop dance to on the rooftop, one. yeah, and the black outfits. Yeah. Yes, with it was like a bolero, and it was like up here, and yeah. she had a yeah. white like tank top. Yeah, was it that drop it, drop it low? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and then it was also her friends from Camp yeah. Rock. Yeah, and they made it through a routine. Yeah, they yeah. Had, like, I got of- the diamonds in yeah. the best. <laughs> it was so I memorized that dance. <laughs> I literally could stand up and do it right now, but that's actually going to be behind a paywall, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, guys. But I literally like that video changed my fucking life. The way that the Miley and Mandy, uh, it's like a tank top video. Like yeah. that changed me as a person. The oh, tank top one. I forgot about that. Yeah. So good. Dude, Cute. the one. You're welcome. You're welcome. I got you. The one where um, they're like, remember when Selena and Demi made that YouTube video? Yes. And then. Because Selena started fucking around with Nick, Miley and Mandy made a parody of yes. theirs. Yeah. Oh, the and team remember was so good. with the Ninja Turtle shirt. And remember yes. they made fun of her gap. <gasps> what did they say? They said, "Yeah, that's why you act like that because you got a gap in your teeth." I do not remember that. And she had that. her gap. Yeah, fixed. I remember that. Yes, but then. Dude, that was like the part I remember. They were like, that's why right, you got a gap. And they're lapping their ass off. They're laughing. Shit. Bitches is mumbling and cackling. <laughs> <laughs> so they're paying their motherfucking bills. I forgot about that. Dude, that's and I tea. remember they were dying. And then remember the tea, bitch, all over the place. They were like, wow, that's so like they're making fun of them. Like they're like. And then the girls had to like say sorry. They were like, "Oh, we were just joking around." Well, the thing is, Mandy's like twenty two, and all the girls are like sixteen. Yeah, yes. so weird to think so about. Weird. It was so kind of weird. weird vibes, but also like this whole world of young celebrity mm-hmm. women. Yeah, it was you know, weird. It's like you're all going through the same thing. I get how you could be friends, but that is fucking weird. Yeah, like me imagining now hanging out with like a twenty year old. I'm like, <sighs> no, yeah, no, I'm not really into that. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. please leave me alone. Yeah, um, dude, that's like, unbelievable. They gave Mean Girl. They did. Yeah. Miley and Mandy were fucking mean girls but yeah they then. were all very like and i just can't imagine the day oh what i would have given to be a fly on, on the, the wall. wall i just want to i just want to see what unfolded behind the scenes yes. the way they're all like 
yeah, they've like beefed and shit, but like at the same time, they haven't really said anything about each other because they're all kind of were in it together. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah they were yeah, kind of yeah. like, I won't talk about you if you don't talk about me. A hundred percent. It's like an unspoken bond that they share. I was I feel floored. That. Like I was a hundred percent like till I die. I was a Hannah Montana girl. Yeah. yeah. Like Hannah Montana was my favorite show. I worshiped the ground she walked on. Mm-hmm. Like, and then after the Hannah Montana movie, when she kind of reinvented herself, I was like, I'm yeah. <laughs> we and always talk about like her album. can't be tamed era. Yes. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. That was with the long honey. Yeah. yeah. Brown yeah, yeah, hair. yeah. Um, but I will say like I was Hannah Montana to my core. Demi Lovato has the best voice to ever come it's out insane. of Disney. It's yeah, insane it's how talented she is. Yeah. Yes. Truly. She truly can sing literally anything. And yeah. So amazing. talented. Like, like I was, genuinely. I remember being however old when Camp Rock came out. How old yeah. Uh, I was in eighth grade. So you guys were probably in like fifth or sixth grade. Yeah. yeah. I was or probably seventh, yeah. fifth or sixth. Yeah. 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 Um, I remember that coming out and me being like, she's so good yeah yeah so talented uh, yeah and like i would try to recreate her riffs and stuff yeah. on the soundtrack and i couldn't mm-hmm. i was like <gasps> it's crazy i know the her. talent is the talent. talent anyways the tea what were we even fucking talking about we, oh nat and alex wolf the naked That's brothers band yeah. naked brothers band okay well who was your bias you didn't answer i don't re- remember anything you don't remember about either them. Oh, no. okay okay could tell you do you remember all-star weekend yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just talked about the party. Podcast. But like party, like it's is that All Star Weekend? No. No way. Yeah, like it is. It's it is. not your birthday. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's All Star Weekend. Weekend. I think that's the Vamps, isn't it? No. That's you're okay. I'm thinking of a different song. Are you thinking yeah. party like a rock star? Can I get a what? No, that's Big Time Rush. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. I was, no, gonna I was say. thinking because we used to watch the Big Time Rush show. Yes, and I'll never forget one time we watched this episode where like I can't I know remember the what they're doing, about. but they're like at someone's house. Like I think their boss was his name Gustavo. Yes, yeah. they're at his house. Like I think they're supposed to be house sitting, and then the cat's like being crazy. Okay, and they're like he's spray painting, and it just shows like the cat's <laughs> hand spray painting, and they're like he can spell. <laughs> I remember that he so writes, clearly. like, you suck or something. Yeah. We, they're like, he can spray paint. And then one of the other ones goes, he can spell? Dude, Comedy. I was like, cackling. Yeah. Bitches just mumbling. Dying. mumbling. Dying. Bitches just cackling. Mumbling they seem and cackling. so nice. Were they really, they really nice? Uh, but they're much, yeah. Because yeah. they're all dads now. Yeah. Like, they're all just normal fucking guys. I was a Kindle girl to Me my Me too. Core. Me too. Still, yeah. That's my bias, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely Even Kindle bald. Girl. I'm like, yeah, sure, 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 yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm into it. You know who was my bias for a little bit? It was Ross Lynch. We were talking about that for a minute. Oh, yeah. He is so, you guys, he's so sexy. I'm sorry. No, that is a recent thing for me. And I yeah. will admit, you got me into that. Yeah, I said, what do we think of this? And you're like, Ross. <laughs> Cut that fucking fart out, dude. <laughs> Cut that fart out. <laughs> I will, I will. Well, I'll believe it, but yeah. Don't cut it out. It's real. <laughs> Put a clip of it. Let's see it. Let's fucking Literally see that bowl. And, pulled, and rolled the clip. <laughs> oh, he's so sexy, you guys. It's so painful. I don't dude. like the music, but he is very no, sexy. Oh, yeah, the music is fucking bad. <laughs> he's very sexy. <laughs> And he's so like he wants to be Harry Styles so bad. Well, here's the thing: you can tell, you can tell when yeah. a man is like they know they have our attention, yeah, 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 yeah. and they're trying to do the like sexy thing. Yeah, it's yeah, too much. Yeah. I don't like. Yeah, that. where like his shirt's off, he knows that he's ripped, he's sweaty, and he's doing the uh, like fucking yeah. the mic thing, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like ew, yeah, I'm like that's gross. It loops three times. <laughs> 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 That's gross. Bookmarked. Yeah, uh, that's gross. I'm gonna yeah. watch this later. I just he's I pouring like so a water bottle on him. I'm like, ew. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, someone in here named Samantha. She said Bernard from the Santa Claus was her sexual awakening, and that is so fucking real. <laughs> he is sexy. I'll give you that. He's hot. No response. No reaction. Light <laughs> work. No reaction. I got nothing for you. <laughs> We're talking about the Santa Claus, right? <laughs> like, those movies are so Coco. funny. I love Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like he was in the room with us for a second. That was crazy. Tim Allen Core. Tim Allen Core. Oh we were my just God. talking literally yesterday, Jason and I were just talking about she's like, bitch, when's the last time you watched Toy Story? It's so And I was funny. like, it's yeah. been a minute, but Toy Story 2 was my favorite Toy same, Story. Because Jesse, I was like, I want to be here so bad. Yeah. I want to be here so bad. Um, and I told her, I was like, have you seen that audio of what he's going around from Toy Story 2 that's mm-hmm. like, if the boot fits, and he goes, She's I'll say that again. If and then the he's like, <laughs> Fits. 
Yeah. And then they were like, he was clearing them. <laughs> like, what are you doing? so mean. I saw yeah. someone comment and they were like, he was beefing with Buzz in the first one. He was beefing with Prospect Your Pete in the second one. And then the third one, he, and then the third one, he was beefing with everyone. Like, Here's what, I'm just, so glad you brought up Prospect Your Pete. So when we were in high school. <laughs> Had, I'm like nervous what you're about to say. We had this like ASB assembly where it was like all the seniors who were running for like treasurer or whatever. Okay. They mm-hmm. would do like a almost like a caucus where it was like people will come to watch to hear what they want to happen. The pitch. Like, yeah. yeah right, to right, hear right, they're right. going to win. So they would pick each senior would pick like a freshman, a sophomore, a junior. And usually you pick like the most popular ones. Mm. So then they That help. wasn't required. No, that's no, just saying, what that's ended what they up were happening doing every time. Like, Politics, the, am I right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, they were like lobbyists. They were like, get out there and get me votes. So <laughs> yeah. they picked Drew for one of our friends. Um, she asked me, do you think your I was a sophomore, would do it? And yeah. I was like, yeah. Okay. So Drew did the sophomore one. And so the theme is like, I think Pixar. So everyone picked different movies. So my friend picked uh, Toy, Toy Story. Story yeah. So out of all the Toy Story characters <laughs> she could have picked, she shows up and my friend goes, are you are you gonna change in your outfit? And she goes, I'm Prospector B. <laughs> <laughs> she will. Out of all of them, uh, I'm Prospector B. What was it about his drag that just really like <laughs> <laughs> to like on, honored Honor you to him. him? Yeah. I had a pair of overalls. I thought <laughs> A plus B equals C. Easy peasy. Like I, I said, see it so clearly. Yeah, I said, it's uh, you see, some of you are, are on this level. I'm up here. <laughs> I'm not even here right now. I'm on another planet. I'm in another Insane. universe. Yeah. Everyone's like, Jesse, Woody. Well, yeah. I first of all, I always picked a man. I don't know if Same. that's just like Same. reflex, but like I just always picked a man. I'm yeah. like, and I think it was literally me trying to colonize male spaces from a young age. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Yes. Who says I can't be that? Yeah. And I said, who, who says I couldn't be a stinky prospector? Who says I couldn't? <laughs> oh, can I be the farty one? <laughs> <laughs> The one they literally called Stinky Pete. <laughs> Do you mind if I pick him? Do you guys mind? <laughs> you don't want to be Little Bo Pete. You guys no. don't want to be the farty old white man. <laughs> I, just, I remember when I got Who's ready. Who's evil? Who's really mean? <laughs> when I remember when I got home, when I was about to leave the house, my mom goes, aren't you doing that thing today? And I'm like, yeah. And, she, and I also didn't bring a change of clothes. I just wore that outfit to school. All like day. I didn't, everybody else brought a costume to change it. I wore my outfit. Yeah. And so then I, um, I go, yeah, I'm, I'm the prospector. <laughs> and then my mom goes, that's who you chose? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, all right. Like, again, my mom's like. <laughs> she's just like all the time. Like in high school, she made it like cool, like in competitive to be the school mascot. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Because she did it like three times and was showing everyone how fun it was. It's so prestigious. <laughs> it's prestigious. they literally had to host like auditions because people were fighting over who I was the mascot. The mascot. School. I did it for fun. Like my friend was the mascot. She, I said, dude, let me try it on. And she was like, you want to be the mascot? I said, yeah. Yeah. And she gave me the outfit. It was, we were Panthers. So mm-hmm. I was like a Panther. And I just, it was like a big velvet suit and then a head. Uh-huh. So I put it all on. And then I, I was like, do you mind if I go and on the sideline and do you mind like, if i no. go eat you bitches up yeah and then i went out there and i was dancing and i was fucking <laughs> bitch i had the time on my life i was like period <laughs> like i literally i was dancing i was cheering i was yeah. like i went in the stands i was like rousing the crowd like it's I was, so fun and i got so sweaty in that thing oh yeah. i didn't give a fuck and then I did it and it was so fun. And then like nobody knew it was me until like the end of the day. And like I took off the helmet and they were like, what the fuck? You didn't know who I was under the mask. Yeah, you don't get it. You don't get it. <laughs> no one cared about me before. I <laughs> when I have this on, I'm a king. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. I had to wear this to get your attention. You wouldn't have listened otherwise. <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> He's also sexy. Also, oh, I'm getting up to this. I'm starting to fucking cry. No, that literally. Yeah, yeah I did that, and I was oh, yeah. like, you I did. Also, girl, like, oh, like hardcore. Stan. Who, is, who did you think was? I thought Chuck Bass was very sexy. Chuck Bass was the wallpaper on my iPod Touch seventh <laughs> generation for a, a considerable amount of time. But and Dan was so annoying, but he was hot at the time. I did. I thought Dan was ugly and annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and then now in my adult womanhood, yeah. I realized Dan was the right. He he was in the right. Yeah, he was yeah. just annoying. Have you yeah. seen that clip? You follow uh, Benito Skinner? <laughs> Benny 
drama is my hero. He's one of the funniest people yeah. on the internet. It makes me sick. The clips like, of his podcast um, with his friend are so funny. When she's doing, they're like, it's, I'm your assistant. It's my job or whatever. She, no. Jenny is like, it's this weird clip of Jenny. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. And she's like, it's my, I'm your assistant. It's what I do. Like all of a sudden she has this weird accent when she's talking to Dan. And okay. so they just, they're like, lives were changed. <laughs> and he was like, I just like how they probably did like eight takes and that whoever's editing was like, we're going to leave that in because she didn't have to do all that. But I'm like, <laughs> It's so you asked funny. For this. You yeah, asked she kind of ate with that. Back to the basket thing. Yeah, I am obsessed with like, like one thing about Drew. She's gonna play. Yeah, you girl. were playing, girl. When, she's if gonna, that doesn't she's prove gonna terrorize that I was, <laughs> she's doing. if that doesn't prove that I was like destined to like be a fucking clown for a living, I don't yep. know what will. Yeah, like that. I I'll eat the attention up, bitch. I don't give yes. a fuck. Like I like I thrive under the pressure mm-hmm. yeah. of performing like that. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. Were either of y'all uh, theater kids or musical theater kids? I did theater my freshman year and Me I too. couldn't do it at the same time as sports. So I only got same. to do it my freshman year. Did y'all year. prefer sports over theater? Yeah. yeah. We were athletes all the If I had school. to pick now, I probably would have picked theater, but the kids were just so odd. Well. I would probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, but all my friends were in sports, so that's why I kept doing sports. I actually, yeah. yeah. That's tea. I was, I was an athlete. I was playing travel soccer at the same time yeah, too like so I, just had, yeah. I literally didn't do anything like extracurricular other than sports because that was pick. my whole life yeah not to get deep again yeah but was that kind of an innate pressure you felt felt because of obviously your culture and obviously what you're normally pushed to do yeah i mean yes and no because my parents stress the importance of school before sports yeah right so my mom always was like sports are going to be there but like school is forever like you need to do well in school you need to go to college like Mm -hmm. it was more so drive would drive what was driving us was scholarship money yeah which is like normal in some one families is to get a full ride that's how you go to college otherwise you just don't go Mm -hmm. um which happens a lot in our community Mm -hmm. so i did get several offers to do um soccer soccer to play in college um at all levels like d1 through d3 okay but then um I couldn't do it because I had torn my ACL my freshman year of high school. Damn, they got your ass. I tore everything, actually. Like, I tore ACL, MCL, PCL, my meniscus all torn in half. Like, what the fuck? When I was playing. And so um, I had to have ACL surgery. Like, I couldn't play for a year. Like, I was in rehab for, like, nine months. Isn't Jesus. that crazy? I think you were, like, 14 when that happened. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was... Well, I did rehab for six months. I came back full contact in 10 which is like really really rare typically it takes a year or, or more wow. but i pushed myself in therapy because i was like if i can't play soccer i i can't go to school i can't go to school like mm-hmm. i that was when my head i was thinking i, I need to go to college yeah. so like anyways i tore my acl and then um when that happened i remember actively thinking i'm like i can't play sports in college like mm. what if i have to go through this shit again like mm-hmm. it was horrible it was really bad like very invasive surgery it hurts rehab's awful mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't want to put my parents through this again, like having to pay to build me back up so yeah, that I could go back up. that's their baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I played with a brace for like the next two, three years. And then I like, and I still did well. I got the scholarships. But then I remember thinking like, I would just so much rather like live life. Yeah. All yeah. I did was sports. That was our job. Yeah, like, like that was my literal job. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I was like, I never went to parties. I never did any of this shit. I mean, I went to some, but like. I missed a lot of shit because I was playing all the time. Yeah. And then I, I got I, an academic scholarships and then I took that. Period, bitch. Mm-hmm. I always felt so like I just could not really relate to the athletic kids because mm-hmm. yeah. it's not only like y'all's lives, but it's your parents' lives too. Yeah. It takes over everything. Every yeah. weekend, every afternoon, yeah, yeah, every. Yeah. Literally. <clears throat> and I was like, you know, I like, I because I was theater kid to my fucking core, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And so much of that is, you know, like I'm staying late. I'm coming early. Mm-hmm. I'm it's like we rehearse until we fucking get it yeah, period. like yeah. well, like we're running broadway <laughs> i'm 14 yeah. i'm playing a man like it's not that fucking special but yeah. like it didn't really demand a lot from my parents it was just like yeah. we all come see the show when it's out yeah. Yeah. and so i feel i always feel bad for <laughs> athletic kids because you don't even know what you were missing like, yeah. yeah no i don't like at all i remember we've talked about our junior year prom dates they love those stories but like nightmare and a half going to yeah. going to prom or junior year and I remember right after that, obviously, Dason and Billy are graduating when I'm a junior. Mm-hmm. And um, Billy invited us to this big party he was having. And everybody was going because he's, like, fucking so popular in high school. Like, mm. And he's like, you guys got to come to my party. You got to come. And we kept saying no. And then um, I remember we really wanted to go, especially after that awful fucking night. <laughs> 
Oh my god, with those the world's worst men, and I swear to God, if I ever see one of you, it's again, on site. It's on site. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you to pay me for reparations. <clears throat> but um, we literally were like, we can't because I had soccer the next day. Ugh. So like, I had to wake up early the next day and go to soccer, and everybody had like this like fun high school experience, and like we didn't have it because like couldn't like and she couldn't go without me that's your villain origin story yeah. Both of y'all. yeah i think that's why we were both like so excited to not play yeah in college also dason just had like crippling like uh anxiety at the time as far as like like all of a sudden be like i didn't know how to play soccer i'm like running in the opposite direction it was oh, so it was no. bad yeah it was so bad i was always falling Dason- down because i was nervous what are you doing yeah. <laughs> when we first Audition because you or audition. tried out. Yeah. Audition. You have to now, prepare, now I'm you have to prepare a, a song. <laughs> yeah. a, a ten minute yeah. monologue. Yeah. <laughs> we literally when we tried out for club soccer the very first time, um, I got scouted. Like someone was like, "You should bring bring this five two seven year old little boy." Yeah, yeah, bring them to the tryout, young man. <laughs> because I was literally, I'm not kidding. I was so big. They were like, "Bring her ass over here." <laughs> Because no <laughs> soccer players are not tall typically, yeah. um, and so I went and like when we went, they asked us like, my mom's pumping her up. She's like, "You're gonna do fine. You're mm-hmm. gonna be fine." Because she's nervous, <laughs> 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 and I was so like, like I didn't give a fuck. Like I'm like, once this is over, she said we were gonna eat out, and I'm gonna hold you to that because yeah. <laughs> I love to eat out. That was like my favorite thing to oh, do. It was such a reward. A yeah, privilege. so did yeah. at dinner. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was literally like, don't think I forgot that. <laughs> after this right <laughs> so we went like that's all i that's i was so food motivated i know as a child. just like squid <laughs> yeah like literally like my dog like mother like son literally mm-hmm. and um anyways we go and they're like what positions do you guys play and we played different positions like mm-hmm. i was a defender and Jason was a goalie and uh she literally told them that she played defender and she <laughs> came behind me yeah she came and stood behind me and i said Jason, what are you doing over here and she was like, I don't want to, I don't want to go by myself. And I'm like, Dason, you don't play this position, dude. <laughs> and then she was like, it's fine. It's fine. And I was like, okay. And then she did very poorly because <laughs> she doesn't play that position. And then when Drew got picked to be on the team and I didn't, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be fucking joking. There's no way. I demand. I a, played my heart out. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I demand a recount. <laughs> I I'm picking up re- the ball with my hands. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> I'm like, recount the vote. <laughs> yeah, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I was pissed. She oh was so God. like in dis. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I love that level of delusion. Yeah. <laughs> it's rigged. It has to be rigged. <laughs> that was me. And ironically, that was me when she, Dason, um, got the lead in the school play when she was in fifth grade period and then when i got got into fifth grade and we did the same play i was like i'm gonna audition for the same role Mm -hmm. and like i don't think it was a competitive thing i think it was just like well she did it so i can do it like i'm sure like it'll be fine and i did it i don't even remember the audition i do remember after my friends were like how was it i'm like i killed i killed yeah like i don't want you guys to feel bad but i definitely got it like there's just no way they're not gonna pick me i was so confident i was like they're picking me it's a done deal. I'm at the sorry very least. for y'all. I'm a, I'm a Nepo baby on top of that. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm legacy. Chewing. <laughs> I'm legacy. So I'm, like, legacy. I'm, a, I'm literally like, yeah, I'm grandfather Nan. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm not, I was talking the most shit. Like I wasn't even really trying to flex on it. And I was just like, I was so sure. Yeah. And then when they posted the results, I said, I didn't get any role at all. <laughs> Bitch, I didn't get any role at all. She got like chorus like everyone else. Yeah, I got chorus, bitch. I was, chorus number four. I was literally, a, they said, you're an alto, get back there. Oh, I my didn't, God. I didn't, I, and I literally was like, threw my hat in for all the ranks. I'm like, okay, any of the female leads I'll take, but I want Becky. Right. Yeah. I'm like, just so you guys know, I'm comfortable playing them all. <laughs> In case you're annoying, so I, I could could do a nude scene. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'll have my people discuss it with your people. She's in the fourth grade. They're like, <laughs> no. They said your crew, babe. <laughs> yeah, here's a fucking. They headset. made me. They made me a stage hand. Bitch. <laughs> they literally made me chorus, and I. They put me at the very top because I'm. I was so tall, so you couldn't even fucking <laughs> see me. I was like all the way at the back. You know what? It I takes got humbled. That, yeah, you have to be humble. Now you're the star. Look at that. Yes. That's why I tell people like, I can't sing. Like, I can't. I mean, I'm not tone deaf, but I cannot sing. Mm-hmm. And I remember like, I was telling him, if God gave me Ariana Grande's voice, you would have to kill me. No, like, he you would knew have better. To, you, I would be King Kong like 
on top of the Empire State Building. Like that yeah, would be me. Like shooting you down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sliding down an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead ass. Like I would be like like blow dart. Like you'd have to put me out. Like you, yeah, <laughs> Jinji from Shrek Two. <laughs> 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 when his arms break yeah. off, and he falls. <laughs> <laughs> and I pour steam milk on him. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, unbelievable. That, I was like, that would be, I would be an unchecked power. Yeah. yeah. God knew better. Like he said, this bitch is, her bridges are too big. No, he no. said checks and balances. Yeah. <laughs> like this is like how I need it to happen. Otherwise they'd have to kill me. Literally. Jesus. They I have a hit out, put out on me. Yeah. Yeah. I always was cast as, they literally always made me either play an old woman <laughs> or cross dress. I was <laughs> never a lead. I was always the funny one. And now I'm looking back and I'm like, yeah, it checks out. <laughs> I'm like, that's fine. But we make you a man or an old woman. <laughs> oh, we did. Um, are you familiar with like Monty Python? Yeah, yeah. Um, Spam a lot is like a okay, famous okay. Monty Python movie, and it's yeah. about King Arthur and the Round Table. Those movies whatever. are so funny. They're so yeah, funny. So funny. Sometimes very racist. Yeah, mm, very homophobic. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, for the I mean, for the time as well. Like no one was making anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So we did a musical adaptation of it, and it was very funny. Like I was that in high so, school. Like, forward thinking doesn't it seem so for the time mm -hmm. yeah, I, like you yeah. guys deciding to do that play and i mean this was in high school so i was like 16 yeah, yeah, yeah. and the obviously all the lead we picked it because we had a bunch of senior boys who were so funny and so hot and so talented and then uh so we did spam a lot because it's about king arthur and like his six yeah. nights yeah, or whatever yeah, okay. and um they had me it, it, I've always felt this way of like, they don't know what to do with people like us. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're so funny and it's like, you clearly, you kill them. You're killing them. Yeah. But you're not pretty enough to be the lead and you need to do this. And also, what if we put you in a beard and a wig? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what would be funnier? You as a man. <laughs> that's <laughs> even funnier. Like, was. that's comedy. Honestly. I, the entire show, it was like an hour and 45 minute show. I did five costume changes <laughs> playing five different men. I was like, you bitch, can we get, can you hear me? <laughs> Am I breaking? <laughs> I was like, we can't get some little freshman boys or anything to play these roles. Like, can't get anyone we, else. Huh? They were Not like, nope. just one, but five. <laughs> five. I was every fucking scene. I was sweating bullets. I was red in the face. I had to like go back in the wings and strip and put a beard on and this. And then my mic would fall off because it was sticky and I was sweating. And I was like, this is show business. <laughs> It's Hollywood, baby. This is Hollywood, babe. And it prepared me. And I'm so thankful. He said, and that actress, Jennifer Garner. <laughs> Rebel Academy Wilson. Academy Award winning. Yeah. Yeah. Olivia <laughs> Coleman. Margot Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now she's Barbie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can't. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And that's crazy. It's so, oh my God. And I, because y'all weren't like, you did theater, but it's like, you don't, yeah. maybe you don't have the trauma of theater because you had the trauma of athletics. Yeah. Um, I literally asked my theater director freshman year, who was a straight white man. I said, why do you make me like old women <laughs> or like in the background? And he goes, because you're a little curvy. <laughs> he said, because you're a little fluffy. I said, hey, I'm 14. Hey, I heard it the first time. You don't need yeah, to say you don't. You don't have to keep saying synonyms, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for the answer. Like, I got my answer. I was like, yeah. all right. Oh, okay, thanks. got it. All right. And went home and I was like, oh, I'm fat. <laughs> I don't, I was I, like, I literally cried to my parents and they were oh. like, well, <laughs> at least you're in the play. <laughs> well, oh. terrible. That's Can you crazy. believe? Because you're a little Louise fluffy. Like, Louise, like, you're like, oh, I. Thank God. I thought it had something to do with talent. Or, yeah. I was like, I thought it was bad. So I'm glad no, no, to hear no, no, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm glad you cleared it up. I was worried it would hurt my feelings. And I'm so glad. No, I'm, yeah, you I'm so glad that. you gave it to me straight, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Is Thankful it for the honesty. <laughs> Is it terminal? <laughs> Is it terminal? <laughs> no. Okay. Thankful for the honesty, I guess. I just like that. Wow. Was, it's so much character building that happens. That's <laughs> uh, Isn't that like almost you illegal? Said, well, I guess I got my answer. I just don't feel very good about it I yeah, guess. Yeah I'm not feeling great about myself. <laughs> have you ever heard about 
have you ever heard of lying? <laughs> like, is that possible? Or He could have said so many things. And yeah. the fact that he was straight up with me and he was like, listen, this lead girl, she's not fat. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. No worries. Like, like, the way that that's so awful is To say crazy. that to a child is yeah. like, but I know so many people, because I've told that story before. So many people have had the same story. That's yeah. just uh, Like crazy. theater directors are the worst people on yeah. earth. Because if you've they're resorted to- They're all kids and they're all growing. Yes. It's yeah. crazy. Like teaching, like you are talking to literal children yeah. all day like they're adults. And that's crazy. It's just wild. But that's it made insane. me funny. It made yeah. me funny and I'm so yeah. thankful. So we're that's good. That's honestly fucking nuts. I- didn't have a teacher like that really until, well, my eighth grade algebra teacher was insane. Like, well, in the same that she was like really, really racist. Oh. And I went to a school in a very low income neighborhood. So it's like nothing but minority what kids. The fuck? And she was so racist. She hated brown and black people. Like she hated them. And she would like talk like it too, like in class. And I was a really good student. Like yeah. I was taking an eighth grade I was thinking a ninth grade algebra class in eighth grade mm-hmm. and it's hard. So I'm like, we're all learning and shit. And she would like, she would just say the most racist, awful things like all the time to the point where people were terrified of her. What the fuck? And I remember every year she worked there on the last day of school, someone would carve the word cunt in the side <laughs> of her B dub beetle. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Every year on the same day, like it was the longest running bit and we all knew that it would happen and we never told on each other (laughs) because that's how much we hated her. Like on this every day, every year without fail. And and it became a joke. Like everyone would be like, I wonder when it's going to happen. And I remember the day, my eighth grade year, because I had her in seventh grade, my eighth grade year, I went again. It happened again when I left. And she was just like, every year, like, this happens to me. She, she just wouldn't quit her job for whatever right. reason. Oh. Or like, she had a security oh. camera out there. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Do something. Yeah. I remember her B-dub beetle. And it was a cream color, so it was really easy to see key marks. Damn. And that word, like. <laughs> a crazy word a for crazy middle school word for- <laughs> as well. <laughs> for middle school. Okay, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls starring Brittany Broski, one of our besties. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't talk about any crushes. I know we did a couple. We'll do. We're gonna do another part. Me and Drew will go. Yeah, through. don't it'll worry. It'll be Sans Brittany, Sick. but it'll be just as funny. But thank you so much for coming. Oh, on. thanks for Thank having you. Me. I love y'all. Um, if you like this episode, you can listen to all the other ones. Every week is stream podcast, and the YouTube version is up every single Tuesday. But other than that, we love you. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Yay.